church. We've got to become desperate. We need him. We need him. But we've got to go beyond that need and become desperate. Become desperate enough that we are willing to humble ourselves. Become desperate enough that pride and vanity will not stop us from being able to stretch out before God. Become so desperate that we don't care what anybody else thinks. When we get up to that altar, it doesn't really matter what anybody else perceives. We don't care what anybody else has to say. All we are concerned about is just getting into the heart of God. We've got to become just that desperate. We've got to become just that desperate. And so this man, in his desperation, the Bible says he fell down and he worshipped. He worshipped. One of the things I shared with us on last week, I believe this will close our recap, is that your, your worship is different when you're desperate. People who are desperate, they worship crazy. They are outrageous. They are, they are limitless. There is not too much there is not enough that they can give to God. They, as much as they're giving, they're constantly wanting to give. When you become desperate, your worship is different. Your worship doesn't have limitations. Nobody has to pump you. Nobody has to encourage you. Nobody has to welcome you. You come with that worship because you are desperate. You come because you need something of God and you recognize that if you don't tap into this place, if you don't tap into the source, if you don't get into that mind, then you're not going to get this thing when you become desperate your worship is different your worship is real your worship is real the bible says to us that they that worship must worship in spirit and in truth when a person is desperate they are they are the most truthful that you can find them they own that thing they're honest with that thing. They're open with that thing. They're not glorifying it, but they're honest. I'm just that hungry that I don't even care if you want to give it to me in my hand. I'll just take it how you give it to me. I don't even care if other people are going to look at me some kind of way. I just, I'm, all I'm concerned about is the fact that I'm getting something. I don't care who has a perception. I don't care who knew that I had to ask you for the money. It doesn't even matter because I was desperate. And because I was desperate, mother, it didn't matter to me who had to come back and tell me that I had to ask somebody for something. When you become desperate, you push all of that aside and you allow yourself to get into a place where you do actually that you never would have done before. When you glorify God even in the midst of a trial, when you glorify God even when the enemy has you backed up against the wall, you're still worshiping because you are desperate for God to come through. You're desperate for God to manifest. You're desperate for him to take the hand of the adversary and the devourer from off your throat. When you become desperate, you become desperate, your worship is different. Your worship is different. So this man is desperate. And in his desperation, he falls down and he worships. He worships. In his desperation, he takes extreme action. He go, There is nothing that is too much for him to do. There's nothing, there's no, no limit that's too far for him to go. When you become desperate, there is no worship that is too much to give to God. When you become desperate, there is nothing that will hinder you from giving God the glory that he is due. When you become desperate, you will cast everything else aside and you will magnify God because you are so desperate for the mind and the heart of God that nothing else can satisfy you. Nothing else can do it. Nothing else. Nothing else. You tried everything. Everything else failed. Nothing else will do it. But when you become desperate, when you're searching, longing, yearning, when you become desperate, you become to begin to worship differently. People who are desperate, they become bold and they can be a little bit dangerous. They can be a little bit dangerous because you just never know what they're going to do. You they're unpredictable. They're unpredictable. In the middle of in the middle of the prayer, you'll just hear them 
burst out with something. They're unpredictable. You never know what they're going to do. It's hard to put a program to these people. When they're desperate, they'll do things that are outside of the ordinary. They do, they'll do things that are outside of the conventional. When people become desperate, they will just stand up in the middle of a worship service and just go to giving God glory. Not to be disruptive, but just to honor God in that moment in a way that only they can because of where they are. When people are desperate, they're, they're dangerous. They're dangerous to the enemy. The enemy doesn't like when you become desperate. The enemy doesn't want you to become desperate. It's fine for you to need God, but as soon as you become desperate for God, that's a problem to the adversary because when you become desperate for God, then you will begin to set things aside. He knows that these things won't hold you back anymore. He knows that this temptation that he used to have holding, dangling over your head is not going to hold you captive anymore. When you become desperate, the enemy knows that you will take drastic action. You will cut off people in a minute. You will cut off relationships in a minute because you know that that's not going to take you into the kingdom. When you become desperate enough, you will cut off drugs. You will cut off smoking. You will, you will do it drastically when you become desperate. When you become desperate for God, you become dangerous to the kingdom of the enemy because he recognizes that you are willing to go to lengths to hear the heart of God. And to know the mind of God. When you become desperate, the enemy sees you as, as the weapon of God. He sees you. He sees you as that. Because he knows now that because you are desperate and you are dangerous, you will war in the spirit. You will intercede until God hears you. You will pray without ceasing. You will fast until God answers. You will become like a Daniel. You will stop praying until God hears and answers. When you become desperate, you become dangerous. You become a weapon. God has you in his hand and he's using you as a tool to fight against the kingdom of the enemy. The enemy will not like you when you become desperate.